Shadow Man, and hello to everyone else on YouTube. Welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, and uh, I'll be right back after this cut. We have those uh, useless hints from Dorman. Let's go on our way. But before we go take off, let's uh, get some quality nutrition. All throughout the Forbidden Lands, you could find these little lizard things with glowing tails. Um, there's one on the roof here. And you can shoot them and eat them. Um, Wander needs to eat too, okay? Wander's a pretty mean guy. Well, the player is, I guess. But you see that? The lizard is fine. I just shot off its tail. <laughs> That's all that happened there. But yeah, you can get the tail, eat them, and then your stamina increases. Real nutrition. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to the next Colossus. So first we're gonna hop on aggro yeah! and find out where it is. Use our sun. And uh, see which way the light points. Okay, sure, I'll just, uh, pray to those random altars and, I guess, get healed. Yeah, those are also the save points of this game. And, uh, there really aren't any enemies beyond the Colossus, and you really won't take that much damage that won't heal over time. So really, that's only just for your save points, even though they do restore your health. But anyway, light pointed this way, so the Colossus is this way. Cool thing you can do in this game. There's a little extra features. You can do some horse riding tricks, man. Check this out. I'm on the side of a horse. I mean, I guess it's not just a horse, it's, it's aggro. The horse. Anyway, you can lean over on the sides and then you can duck down and then I believe you can stand up as well. Yeah! But for now, let's just go into this next Colossus, which happens to be right down there, according to our light map. Yeah, I don't yeah, see it down there. Yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. There's all kinds of very strange rock formations all throughout this yeah. game, but um, yeah. this bridge just kind of stands out for me. It's just a weird little bridge. It's like, there's no way this formed naturally, but also... How would anybody do this, like, make this bridge, and it's still, like, mostly rock? Because they do have all these other structures around, but... I don't know. I'm no architect.
Nice pop-ins on this PS3 boat. Maybe the game developer's way of saying that there is a Colossus down there. I don't know. Let's check it out. Anyway, since most of this game you're gonna be riding around on aggro, I believe they spent a lot of time to making uh, the controls for aggro. Um, I've never ridden a horse, but this feels like it would be realistic. I don't know. You have to kick the horse multiple times before they start galloping. Again, never ridden a horse. How should I know? And then sometimes, uh, Agro does not want to run in the direction you want her to. She just kind of turns around when there's, like, debris or whatever. So I just kind of abandon her sometimes. Take a shortcut. Like this one. And then I feel terrible because I just abandoned my horse. And then I feel selfish because I realize I'm going to need her again in, like, two seconds. Because without Agro, without a horse, um, you're really pretty slow in this world. This world of giants. But anyway, here we are. We are right near the Colossus, as our light sword can told us. And, um, should be right up ahead. We're at the beach where the doorman said it would be. But I don't quite see it. Hmm. Looks like it's... This way. Alright, let's keep trotting along. See what we find. Sorry about this camera, also. It kind of shakes around a lot, but, um... It was 2005, they're kind of experimenting with stuff. But sometimes it's just a little weird. I try to move it around and it just auto-adjusts itself. But, um, whatever. What's this? The fans have named this one uh, Quadratus, I believe. Yeah. Something like that. And it looks yeah. like a giant bull thing. I don't know. It's quite big and kind of made of stone. Bulls are not that. But whatever. Its right horn is um, kind of not there. You kind of gotta wonder why. But whatever. For this Colossus, um, you can try shooting everywhere, and by shooting it, and nothing's really gonna happen. And its weaknesses are up on the upper part of their body, which you can't get to without climbing up the fur on its legs. So what you gotta do, when it does this stomp attack, shoot the bottom of its foot. And, uh, it'll kinda fall over. Everything that you do in this game, is really quite rude. Um, I just intruded upon this bull's territory and now I'm trying to kill it. Again, like I said with the last one, that was kind of makes you question what you're doing. But whatever, we'll get more into that later when you see how depressing it is when the, when the thing in the, later in the game happens. <laughs> anyway, now that we're up here, we're gonna take a minute to rest there, get our stamina back. And continue on. Can't go out that way, there's no fur. Speaking of fur, this is a game that came out in 2005. This PS3 remaster came out in 2011. And um, all that they did was make this HD. So it's really using the same textures and everything that they had in the original game, just a larger resolution, I suppose. I sound like such a nerd, but I guess I am. And it's just amazing that they were able to create this fur effect back in 2005 when, um... Actually, what did happen in 2005? Let's take a break and look it up. I'll just don't look at my search history and don't look at my... 
bookmarks, and we're all good. Let's see, what happened in 2005? Got really high definition for this um, video here. What does that say? Election 2005. V E V J Day. IRB leadership, London bombings, bird flu, Hurricane Katrina. Those things don't sound very good. Alright, well Shadow of the Colossus is good. You can take my word on that. Huh. Bet you thought I wasn't gonna have enough stamina to get all the way up here, but uh you were wrong. I had you in false suspense. Or not, I don't know. Anyway, the first weak point's over here. Not a very good place for a weak point. Would not want to get stabbed in this location, but whatever. Got my little jump st jump stab technique strat if you're a gamer. Um uh, and it would appear as if it failed me. Let's just get back up there real quick. The uh, musical transition I made there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're back on Quadrat is back, and uh, you can see as it's shaking, its spine is actually made up of different segments. So the different segments move at like different times, and um, it's just really good timing in the animation and everything. There's actually a whole video about it, man. If you, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I'll stop nerding out about this game. But like seriously, this. Hmm, I said I'd stop. Okay, never mind. Anyway, next um, weak point is on its head, like most of the other Colossi. Colossuses. Whichever is better. You know which one's better. Anyway, here we are. It's uh, the final stabbing, and then it'll start shaking. Or she. I'm not sure. Whoa. And, um. Did I mention that Wander? just loves to slip over and like fall over the edge, barely catch himself. That's kind of the main gameplay gimmick of this game. If you're not holding on, Wander is going to trip and fall on anything that he pleases. I mean, it is a giant colossus that's shaking quite a bit, but still, that's no reason to fall over. It's not like you're, um, you know. A hundred feet in the air and on an actual bull that is hundreds of times your size. But whatever. A few more hits should do it. Got a jump stab there, it took away about half of its remaining health. Remaining health. Um and one last jump stab or a few more regular stabs should work. There we go. Bye bye, Quadratus. Like last time, we got these strange little uh, tape looking things just flying straight into Wonder's body. I know that might have sounded kind of strange, but um, allow me to assure you it's going to happen lots through this game. Anyway, we're not going to save yet. We are not done with this episode. That's right, guys. We're gonna keep going. <gasps> There's two shadow men now. And the second statue's breaking. I'm beginning to see a structure to all this destruction. But the girl's still dead.
Well, that sounds like it's going to be an interesting little colossus hunt. Anyway, um, you might have noticed that there are two shadow men this time. Um, and also there are two doves over here by the girl Mono. That's her Mono. name, I think. By uh, her body. They're just kind of chilling there. You can actually shoot them down, but that's it. They just die. It's, it's really sad. I'm just thinking, oh. That girl's about to run off that cliff. Anyway, this next Colossus, um, I am never able to find where it is, like, without lots of trial and error, as, um, the area where it is, is very confusing to me. We're gonna try our best, use the sword, and hopefully this won't take too long. Unlike aggro, it's taking much too long right now. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep whistling. Possibly the most annoying sound ever. Or, you know, one of them. There are so many more annoying video game sound effects. Like Ico, a game by the creators of this game. Um, we'll get there. And then there's Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. <laughs> we'll get there too. But for now, we're trying to find this Colossus. Here, uh, in the first episode of this series, when I said that uh, pretty much a third of the game would be spent on just trying to find the Colossus, I wasn't kidding there. Um, yeah. Most of this game is usually just trying to find out where the Colossus is, even though you might know exactly where it is, using your sword, of course, but you don't know how to get there. Like, this giant, yeah. giant expanse here between this half of the Forbidden Land and the other half you have to cross this bridge or go across the desert and uh, you really have to get familiar with this terrain and you kind of do over the course of the game which is pretty neat it's like you're actually traveling or something and you learn about something as you stay there I don't know I should review video games or something maybe that's what I'll do Anyway, sometimes you just kind of want to stop and look around, because there, there's a lot of work that went into this, and really, this is considered an open world game, but there's no really things to do in the open world other than eat the fruits and yeah. eat, eat the white-tailed salamanders. You can also hang glide on birds, but uh, <laughs> we'll get to that yeah. later. It'd be pretty nice if this game had some, uh, some nice light traveling music. I don't know. Maybe some light notes in the background. Uh, that's all I really wanted, but no. They just give us this wind. So, um, yeah, with a Mega Man game, I'd be able to not do commentary, but just play the music and just kind of have an excuse there. But with this, um, it just kind of becomes an awkward void of, uh, silence and wind. See what happens if I do that for too long. Um, will probably not turn out very well for me. So you might have noticed this uh, structure out here. You might have seen a few other throughout the world. And these are the uh, shrines that you can save at and uh, heal at, which are uh, they're located pretty much everywhere, and they all look very abandoned and have moss and vines growing over them. Well, then being a safe point, um, they're also the location of the white-tailed lizards. So if you want more stamina, shoot, go to uh, a shrine. Be very quiet. Shoot a white-tailed lizard. Um, eat its tail. That was probably the smoothest white-tailed lizard hunting I've ever done. Sometimes I just walk around for like 20 minutes and try to spot it, and I see it and it goes around the boat or around the shrine. And I miss shooting it and it runs away. And, uh. But yeah. You get more stamina. And it's good. You can also climb to the top, but, uh. I don't want to do that right now. I am going to heal. Even though I'm at full HP. And not save. Because, um. Saving in the middle of a recording is a terrible idea. 
You know, unless you use a uh, different save slot. You know what? Why didn't I think about that? A different save slot. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. Just disregard that. Anyway, onward to the Colossus. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah. Now, uh, earlier what I said about aggro kind of being stubborn yeah. is true. It's true for the most part. But also, yeah. aggro's pretty cool. Um, aggro can run through these by herself. See, I'm not even doing anything. That's yeah. the uh, AI running around, which is pretty neat. Um, now I'm controlling it, obviously. But, you know, AI controlling a horse, that's pretty cool. And now where are we? I don't remember this being anywhere near the Colossus. Colossus must be this way. Yeah. But no, I turned this way. Yeah. This is what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I can't even blame this game anymore. Yeah. Now that I'm looking back on this recording, I just saw the location of where the third Colossus was and didn't even decide to follow it. I am a smart, smart yeah. child. But, you know what, even if you don't know where, where you're going, there's always more to be seen in this game. There's always lots of stuff, and, um, like these trees. So finding these trees might look really, look really cool. I, I think the trees look cool. Out here. <laughs> little shaven. Then, here, you got more pop-ins, and then you got a, another shrine here. Save that. Obviously a lot of time went into making every single one of these areas on this giant map. And uh, it shows. Even though there's no reason to explore other than the want to explore. And maybe you want these lizards. I'm probably going to spend a really long time hunting these lizards. So I'm just going to cut out most of these parts. Okay, so that wasn't even that long, hunting for that. I, I realized faster than I normally do that um, I'm wasting time if I just want that extra little... Well, I guess that happened. Um, wasn't that interesting. Anyway, as I was saying, I was just kind of wasting my time just to get that little bit of stamina that I can get from beating a Colossus anyway and progressing in a normal fashion as the game was intended to be. You get a little bit of stamina from beating each Colossus as well. So you're stronger at the end of the game, no matter what. But yeah, the uh, Colossus is actually back this way. Surprise. Let's see what is back here. Did you guess more rocks? Guess what? You're right. I got so desperate here for a few seconds that I had to pull up the map. Like two seconds just to like sneak a look at the map. Um, yeah. The map is actually pretty helpful if you want to look at it and uh, it does tell you like your path since you got into last save shrine I think. Like, so you don't keep going in circles, like maybe I might be doing. Nah, there's no way I'm going in circles right now. I'm going towards the Colossus, right? It's right around here. It's gotta be. No, this is just back to the start. No, it isn't. Is it? Nope, that looks pretty new. The very last mechanic in this game is the swimming. The swimming is uh, just pretty basic. Um, you just hop in the water, 
and she can go forward. It'll automatically um, stay afloat. But if you hold the R1 button, which is the um, grab button, then you'll start swimming forward. Then you get a nice underwater view and everything's all dark. And the PS4 version, at least from what I've seen, it's really dark underwater. So uh, there's a certain underwater boss. And uh, I'm not sure how that would turn out, but whatever. We'll get to that later. It's only the second part and I'm using like all of my talking points for the entire series. Um, you might notice those lights in the background, like those um, pillars of light going into the sky. Those are actually the locations where we killed the other Colossus. We should probably focus on this Colossus as we are about to, well, fight it. We gotta go up this ramp thing and then you hop over onto the giant disc. So after swimming across that little lake and then running up this ramp thing, you see this other pillar here and you'll just hop over to it. And after you jump, just hold the grip button and you should be able to grab it if you aim if you aimed your jump correctly. From here it always you you gotta point in the direction you wanna jump first and then hit the jump button, I think. I don't know, it's it's kinda confusing, but once you do get the hang of it, it you just get the hang of it, you know. But anyway, the Colossus is up here. I wonder what it looks like. That's not a Colossus. That's a heap of dead stuff. Or at least that's what it looks like from here. Let's get a closer look <laughs> after I can climb this basic climbing thing. No, nope, maybe I'm not supposed to climb this. Oh, let me do that. <laughs> okay, whatever. Cutscene just wanted to trigger without me. Oh, as soon as I can get up here. There we go. <laughs> Easy. Um, this Colossus is the third one. His name is Gaius, I think. Or uh, that's what the fanbase named it. And it is possibly the... One of the more human looking ones. And it has like a giant... And it's... It, I don't know if I would call it a sword. But, you know, that giant pillar on his right hand. Looks kind of weird. Anyway, what you gotta do, I'm gonna try to move a little faster here, um, there's this circle in the middle, and if you can get him to, uh, slam attack it, then the little ring around his arm will break off, as shown by the camera here, and you can now climb up his arm, which is pretty nice. But what you gotta do is you gotta wait for this attack again, and jump so you don't, like, get knocked back, and then you run up his little sword thing, and, um, don't do that. Then you'll make your way up his arm and then in normal mode he has two weak points, one on his chest and one on top of his head. So yeah, I'm gonna go for one of those. <laughs> this arm looks pretty not supportable or not good for supporting a sword and stuff. It's a very small looking arm. <laughs> Anyway, about uh, this solution for knocking off that ring, I actually found that on accident. I thought he, I thought he killed me. I was just running around and I wanted to stand on the little little circle thing, and then he attacked it, and I thought I died, but I guess I didn't die. Anyway, this part of the game, you got to uh, just stab him repeatedly in his chest, and. It's so annoying, because even if he shakes a little bit, then you won't be able to complete your attack. <laughs> and you're always like... You, the more stamina you build up with your hits, then the more damage it does. But you kind of you kind of have to hit the button as before they start shaking, or else the attack won't do anything. But it always feels like you hit the button and then it doesn't let you attack. <laughs> But that's just how it feels playing this game sometimes. 
Wander just shakes around a lot. There we go. Let's see. And this takes a really long time for me, so uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna speed this recording up a little bit. I maybe regret my decision to speed it up that much. That music sounded strange. Anyway, here's the last hit on this weak point. This sigil, I guess it's called. And uh, now we can move on to the head. I don't know how he's not like bent over in pain as we just stabbed the heck out of his stomach, but whatever. High pain tolerance. In the hard mode, he also has a weak point on his other arm, and sometimes it's like that. It, it's just pretty difficult to get. Uh, just another reason I'm not playing hard mode. It is very time-consuming to get everything, and not very exciting. Well, for most of the colossus, some of the colossus don't even have more weak points. They just are the same exact thing with higher damage output, but whatever, I'll stop being a, a nerd about video games. So down from below, this guy looks really menacing and uh, scary, scary, um, but once you get up onto his face and you start, he starts shaking around and you start stabbing his uh, head, look at his little face. There it is. <laughs> I cannot take it seriously. It's either a pacifier in place of his mouth, or that's like a, a duck bill. <laughs> I can't take this colossus seriously. But anyway, here's a little speedrun strategy here. If you uh, lock on and hit the hold the attack button at the same time, you get locked on and you can't be removed by shaking. So you just keep holding those attack buttons, and there you go. I kind of feel bad for this guy, but maybe that's because he looks the most human. I don't know, maybe I have a prejudice and I think humans deserve more guilt when they're killed than animals? I don't know. Questions this game makes, man. I'll stop nerding out about art and video games. <laughs> I'm gonna have disturbed sleep after hearing those voices, but, you know, whatever. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you liked the video, and, um, uh, if you did, well, that's cool. What if there was some way to express that you liked the video? I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. There's, like, a little button. It looks like a thumbs down. I think that's the one, right? Alright, peace and sheep. Have a good day.